What's going on, everyone? Welcome on in. We are talking trading view alerts. We're going to be diving right on in. We're looking at the S&P 500 ETF right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to create, edit, set, and utilize the alert features here on trading view. Uh, again, there will be some links in the video description and pinned comment to get a free trial if you would like to. They do a 30 day free trial. So it's actually a great place to start. Um, if you would like to, and ultimately you'll see if you, you know, if you get value from the platform or not, if you want to continue, it's up to you at the end of the day, if you haven't done so already, but let's dive into it. So I pull up a stock uh, on the top left, I type in spy, then this is what I get to, right? I'm looking at the S and P 500 ETF it's spy. And here's the chart. Okay. I'm looking at the daily chart. You can look at any time frame you would like. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. The alert is then going to be customized and catered to exactly what you want. Okay. So in the top right, you're going to probably see something like this or on the right hand side, something like this, go to where the, there's an alarm clock. It's a second uh, widget down the alarm clock. Click on that guy. It says alerts. And here is a fresh alert, you know, section. I haven't created one. I, I have, but I just deleted them so we can kind of start fresh and you guys can see how this works. So if I go in here, I can click on this little alarm clock at the top to create an alert. I also can click option a, and if I do that, it'll also create an alert. Uh, on spy, it's kind of just a hot key to do it. Or there's the three dots right here, which will give you some more options and more filters if you would like to, but you can also just click on this button that says create alert right here on the right hand side. Um, really quick, this section, the top little piece will be the spot where you have your alerts. Okay. Whatever you name them, whatever the alert is. Okay, great. You can pause them, edit them. We'll show you how to do that below. That is your alerts log. So if alerts get triggered, that's where they're going to show up. So the alerts log is where the alerts get triggered. And they're gonna tell you, hey, this alert was triggered here. And the alert section up top is the actual alerts that you're creating and writing. If this happens, alert me, do this. If the S and P drops here, goes up here, I want to be told and alerted that if I'm not at my screen. So I click on create alert. And then I got this box right here. This is a guys, when we're talking about creating alerts, right? If you were to use a platform like a Weeble or a Robinhood, I don't even know if Robinhood does alerts, other platforms out there. Um, a lot of them don't take it to this extreme and I don't want to say it's an extreme. They don't take it this far. Okay. So the alerts we have here are quite awesome. Um, there's conditions. So for me, I'm just looking at the spy, but maybe I want to use a condition if volume or the VWAP or something like that, uh, that's the condition aspect. So for example, VWAP right here, you know, if, if I have the VWAP lower band, upper band, or VWAP is crossing over a certain level or drop dropping below this or is above this alert me. Maybe that matters to you. Maybe it doesn't for most people, the price alert of the stock making a move is what you're going to want. Okay. So in this situation, okay, I click on the stock. I select the stock that I want. I'm in S and P. So it has S P Y is the ticker symbol comma. Okay. That's what I want to see first. Now what's the condition that I want? What is the alert that I want to create right here? In this case, I can have it say crossing a value. Is that helpful? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. If that's a key spot, there's so much you can choose from. If it's up a certain percent down a certain percent inside the channel, exiting a channel less than greater than the most simple form of an alert is less than or greater than if spy is less than 280 alert me because that's a new low. And I want to know, right? If spy is greater than 480, alert me because that's a new high. And I want to know, like, that's kind of the idea. So that's like the most common use um, for the alerts. So let's just say I want to create an alert for spy to be less than a certain value. In this case, I want spy to be less than 385. And I want to be told, I want to be alerted if spy is less than 385. Now I have the option to select only once or every single time. So let's say spy drops below 385. I can click on every time, every time it keeps falling below that level, I'll be alerted every single time. I just want to get it only once that that'll do the trick for me. Once I see the alert, I'll come back and check in if I need to check in. Okay. That's all I want to see at the end of the day, right now there's the expiration time. So let's say this is only an alert for today. Well, if it's today, then I can go and find wherever today is go in there and then select this time and say, Hey, I want this to end by the end of the, the trading day today. So let's say 4 PM. And, uh, and that's it, you know, four at four, exactly on the nose, 4 PM, I, I want to be alerted and that's it. So maybe that's something that is useful to you. Maybe it's not, but that's an option that you have there as well. Or you can have it set to open ended means you're going to have to go in and cancel it 
when it's time for you to cancel it, it's up to you. Then the alert actions pop up. So it'll pop up on my screen. Also will show up under the alerts log. Uh, I can get an email sent to me. I could have it notify me on the app. I would highly recommend that if you have the app. Um, so definitely check on uh, check on that box. This way, if you're on the go, boom, you're on your phone. Oh shoot, spy hit this level. Let me check in. Or let's say I wanted to buy the dip then. Boom, I go in, I can create my order. I can go buy the dip just like that. So that's what the use case could be, okay? Then they have the sounds you can choose from all down here. Play it once, play it twice, whatever you wanna do. Now I can go name my alert. This is gonna be, let's just say, uh, spy low breakdown type of thing. Um, you know, spy low breakdown and then essentially it messages me saying spy is less than 385. I can customize this so I can tell myself like go and buy, go buy, you know, calls. Like, you know, if I wanted to do that, right? If, if, I, if I was gonna forget or if I had a bunch of alerts and that's what I did, this is super useful, super, super useful for people who are busy, who are working at school, who can't have the time to watch a screen all day long. And guess what you can do? You can set a bunch of alerts on a couple of different stocks that you're watching that maybe you know you have a meeting at 9 a.m. and you can't do it, but if the alert hits after your meeting, you can go in and hit the bathroom and, and, and put your order in if you need to do so. And it's a great place if you are doing research at night, you're charting out a bunch of stocks, it's 10 p.m. you know, on a Sunday night and you're charting stocks for the next two hours before Monday hits, you can set a bunch of alerts, be prepared for your week, and then as things play out, you can act on them as you see fit because you've planned ahead of time. This is such a great use. Again, if I click create, boom, we're good to go here. Now here it is in the top right. So here it is, spy low breakdown. I can pause, see how it says active underneath. It has a little green active sign. I could pause it right now. It's now stopped manually. Okay, this alert will not will not alert me if it happens. Uh, I can click on play and it will now be, you know, back back up. Uh, or I can go into the, the uh, little settings toolbox right here, the edit section, and I can go and edit this or I can delete it if I would like to as well. So there's that option there. And then there's the X up here, which would remove that alert up in the top right. Once the alert gets triggered, it will show up under the alerts log and you are good to go. That is your tutorial here on alerts for the TradingView platform. Let us know in the comment section down below your thoughts, any questions, comments, concerns. If you want more videos on this, more questions about the platform, let us know. We're building out a playlist over the next couple of weeks, diving deeper into a lot of different features here on TradingView, which is a great platform, by the way. Free trial link will be linked in the pinned comment and video description box if interested. Uh, you get 30 days. So try it out for 30 days. If you like it, great. If you don't, there's a free version you can use as well. You know, they don't have as many features, but there's a free version you can use as well, which can definitely be useful to you. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up button, consider subscribing. We'll also leave a link to a webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal down in the pinned comment and video description below if interested. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.